For my next guest, it was like any other day. Work, the gym, returning home to his family, his wife and his five-month-old at home waiting for him. But as he was unlocking the door, two armed thugs shoved a gun in his face, tried to push their way through the door. Well, it was then that he did what any responsible concealed handgun permit holder would do. He decided to defend himself and his family, and a gunfight ensued. Now, everyone's safe, but those armed robbers are still on the loose. But even worse, perhaps, California has revoked that man's permit to carry. Again, the Golden State values strike again. Joining me now is Vince Ritchie, the man who defended his family, and Colian Noir, who's a Second Amendment advocate and attorney. Vince, let me start with you. Uh, tell us very briefly, very briefly, what happened. Well, thank you very much for having me here. I was coming home after a day of work in the gym, exactly like you said, and the thing I never thought was going to happen happened. I, I turned around to the surprise of two armed gunmen trying to get into my home. And the first thing I thought was my family, and there's no way I'm letting this happen. And did you, do you carry regularly? I know you're a concealed carry uh, permit, but do you carry regularly? At, at the time, I wasn't really carrying because I never thought that I was going to have to use it. I never really thought, I never wanted to know that I thought that this was really going to happen. But after seeing this uptick in crime and homelessness and it just became commonplace that robberies were going to happen, I said, this is a responsibility I need to take. But it's not even a CCW matter because I was on my own property. I was walking in to the driveway and the entryway mm -hmm. of my house. So this petty attempt for them to strip me of my ability to carry outside of my house for something to happen on my property, it, it's just unexplainable. Uh, I see what you're saying. Well, DC has uh, really strict concealed carry rules. You have to register one gun at a time. So is the gun you use registered as a concealed carry? Yes, the gun, a Glock 26 is registered as my one concealed carry, which I, at the time, like I said, I never really thought I was gonna have to use it. And mm -hmm. I went about it the right way. I acquired it the right way. They granted me the right to carry <laughs> Now they're stripping me with the men at large that were looking for me and not giving the ability to defend myself. And I hope Sheriff well, Colian, what's the reason? Go ahead. What's the reason? What's I mean, I think it's pretty blatant what the reason is. California has, has had a notorious reputation for being anti-gun and anti-anybody being able to carry a firearm unless you're part of the government somehow. So this aspect of them stripping him, stripping him of his ability to carry a firearm, especially when we're talking about a situation that happened on his property, it just reeks of their hatred for citizens, law-abiding citizens for that matter, being able to carry firearms to protect themselves. Well... I have to say, Vince, you know, Newsom did propose that 28th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which would, you know, it, it, you know, preserve the language of the Second Amendment, but then add a whole bunch of new requirements and limitations to uh, gun ownership in the United States that, you know, they claim is, you know, very, very popular and people would want. But he's notoriously anti-gun rights. I don't care what he tries to say. Newsom is one of the worst in California. I think he's the second most, you know, poorly rated state as far as gun rights in the United States. I think we'll even put up a, a, a graphic that shows us the worst states for uh, gun rights in the United States. But Vince, is there any doubt in your mind that California at this point, especially where you live, it's a pro-criminal jurisdiction? It's oh, not pro-gun rights, people. It's pro-criminal. Absolutely. The sheriff's attempt now at coming after me is petty. I think Luna should step up and actually represent the citizens, the good giving back citizens that give back through the community and not partake in the criminal activity that's happening because they're not getting arrested. They're not going after them. They're trying to restrict me. Yeah, the best states we just put up, Arizona, Utah, Alaska, and so forth, Washington, D.C., California, Maryland, New Jersey, among the absolute worst. And and by the way, I want to I want to bring this up, you know, Colian, in Florida, violent crime fell by 32% in 2022. Uh, and then compared to California, while California violent crime spiked 13% last year compared to 2019. So what would you say to Newsom, uh, Colian, about this approach to people like Vince who are trying to defend his family on his own property, given what the people of L.A. and L.A. County, especially San Francisco, are saying? Well, They're first of up. all, I think... 
I think, first of all, Newsom needs to stop focusing on this issue from a position of control. Because if you really, th if you're really talking about keeping people safe and saving people's lives, what you would do is you would empower people to be able to protect themselves, since it's clearly been demonstrated that the police can't be there. When Vince was at home and the guys were jumping mm. over his wall, was Joe Biden there to help him? Was there a cop there to help him? Was Gavin Newsom there to help stop those criminals? No, they weren't. It was just Vince and those two guys. And yet and still, they create law after law after law, which makes it even harder for someone like Vince to be able to protect himself from two people with firearms. And then you mentioned the whole point about the 28th Amendment. The mere fact that he's trying to push this demonstrates how much he hates the Second Amendment, because if he understood the Constitution and the Second Amendment, it was written to tell the government what they can't do against our ability to own and carry firearms. But yet he's creating an entire amendment which now, limits is... that ability. That's insane to me. Uh, Vince, you're going to get your concealed carry permit back if uh, we have anything to say about it. Vince and thank Colian, so uh, thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.